Today I'm going to teach you how to read ocarina tabs. Now I do have a lot of tutorials showing you how to play a lot of different songs, but there are so many different songs and pieces out there and a lot of times they include ocarina tabs, so if you're able to actually read them you'll be able to play a lot more music. This is part 5 of my Learn the Ocarina series here on YouTube. Make sure that you're very comfortable with the other 4, the first 4, before moving on to this video. If you're looking for a new ocarina, head over to stlocarina.com and you can use my discount code GINA for 10% off your order. The ocarina that I will be demonstrating on today is this one right here. It is the Fairy Ocarina from STL Ocarina and it is in the key of C. Now let's get started. In case you don't already know what ocarina tabs are, they are diagrams that look like this and basically what they do is show you where to put your fingers to create certain notes in order to play different songs. The reason that tabs are very helpful is in case you don't already know how to read music, a lot of songs will also include tabs to teach you how to play them. STL Ocarina has a bunch of different books including the very popular Zelda song book and they include both the sheet music as well as the tabs to help you learn them. So make sure to check out their website to see all the music that they offer. The perspective of the diagram is kind of looking down at your hands. So I'm looking at it like this, and this is the left hand, and this is the right hand. Of course, that would be mirrored for you right now. This entire side is dedicated to your right hand. This circle is the right hand pinky. This is the ring finger. This is the middle finger. This is the pointer finger, and this circle is for the right hand thumb. Now for the left hand. Again, this side is for the left hand only. This circle is for the left hand pinky. Here is the left ring finger. This is the middle finger. This is the pointer finger. And this is the left hand thumb. Now there are two small holes that we haven't covered yet. These are much more advanced and you won't need to use these for a while. But I will have another video covering this coming out next that teaches you sharps and flats. Just remember this, when a circle is colored in all black, that means that you are covering it with a finger. If the circle isn't colored in, that means that you don't cover it. I'm now going to show you part of a song and how we use ocarina tabs to learn it. You are going to read tabs from left to right. So let's start with the tab on the top left. So what it's telling us is that we're supposed to put down both of our thumbs, and then we're also supposed to put down all four fingers on our left hand. So our pointer, middle, our ring finger, and our pinky. And that is a G, if you remember from before. And a G should sound like this. The next tab shows us again that both thumbs are down and that our left pinky is down. And if you remember from before, that's a C, and it should sound like this. Now for the third tab, I'm actually going to wait a second and let you figure it out on your own, and then we'll check your work. Okay, so what we should have down is both thumbs and all four fingers on our left hand, which is a G, just like before, and it should sound like this. This one's a little bit more tricky because it's involving both the right and left hand, so let's do this one together. So again, we should have both thumbs down, then we have all four fingers on our left hand, just like a G that we just played. And now we're going to add our right hand. So we have our pointer finger and our middle finger, which is an E, and it should sound like this. Let's see if you can figure out this next one on your own. Let's check your work. We should have both of our thumbs down and all four fingers on our left hand. And now on our right hand, we have our pointer finger, middle finger, and our ring finger, and that's a D. I'll let you try this one first. Let's check your work. We should have both thumbs, and on our left hand, all four fingers down, and then on our right hand, our pointer and our middle finger, which is another E. This is the very last one, so I want you to try to figure this one out on your own. What we should have is both thumbs, all four fingers on our left hand, and our first finger on our right hand, which is an F. Now let's try putting all those together and read the tabs from left to right. Beep. 
Let's do it one more time together. The tabs that you saw are actually from a book from STL Ocarina, and I'll have that linked for you below. Wonderful job. And just a reminder, I have two series here on YouTube that I think you'd be interested in. I mentioned this before, but I have the Learn the Ocarina series playlist. And then I also have another playlist that teaches you how to play a bunch of different songs that I think you'd be interested in, and I'll have those both linked for you. As always, thank you so much to STL Ocarina for making this series possible. Make sure to subscribe to me here on YouTube so that you don't miss any of my upcoming Ocarina videos, and follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I'll see you next time.